There was once a pseudo-art critic who was very impressed with his language, his words, and uh, what he thought he knew about art. He was a critic in the wrong sense of the word. He never found anything right about anything. He had a very sour disposition and a very arrogant personality. And uh, one time he was entertaining some friends and he thought he would impress them by taking them to the art gallery and expounding on some of the paintings that were on display there. By this time in his life, he had become very nearsighted. And he was going into the art gallery with his friends, and he went down a row of paintings, and he passed most of them up because he thought he would pick one especially. That uh, one that he could be very critical of. He wanted to show them how smart he was. And so he came to a very interesting little spot where two walls did not come together, but almost, but there was a flat spot there, and apparently there was a painting there that was being uh, uh, there for the purpose of drawing the public's attention to this one especially. So he approached it and he reached for his glasses, and he had forgotten them. But undeterred, he walked up to the painting and began to comment. And he just ripped that painting to pieces. It was a portrait. He said, this is the worst portrait I have ever seen. And he talked about the light and how poorly it was painted, and how poor the skin was painted, and how ugly how terribly ugly was the subject. And he went on and on about the ugliness of the subject. And it, he finally waxed so well that he even said the frame is terrible. And he said the frame is better, is, is not even worthy of the subject. It's a beautiful frame. And he said, I can't understand why artists pick such ugly subjects for a portrait. About that time, one of his friends chimed in and said, Fred, you've been standing in front of a mirror for the last ten minutes. <laughs> well, you see the obvious thing. This man did not know how to live. And he's not an awful lot different from a lot of Christians who don't know how to live. 